Have you won Grammys? Yes, I have. I know, I saw online. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. Where are they? Two. Uh, there, some of my house and some at studio. That's so cool. Yes, yeah, exciting. Right. So, what did you win Grammys for? Uh, I was nominated for the Star Beer for Rihanna, and the rest is Jennifer Hudson, Chris, two Chris Brown, Chris Brown albums. Wait, which Jennifer Hudson's? Uh, her album. Oh, the, oh my God. Uh, her Jennifer Hudson, yeah, the, her album, and then cool. Chris Brown and Kelly Clarkson, Maddie Mastronota also. Did you get up and had to say stuff? No, no. Actually, the first one I did, but when artists artists get, they they the ones to get up. The artists, yeah, you know what I mean. So it's but you were you get credit because yeah. you worked on it. Yes, of course. Okay, so I went. Did you somebody? Some I don't know where someone got this from. Somebody said that you've worked with Rascal Flats as well. I had a hit with Rascal Flats. Yeah. Wait, which one? Uh, Easy featuring Natasha Bedingfield. Oh, that's a good one. I produced that one. Okay. With Dan so Huff. It's just okay, any other ones? Huh? Any other ones from? Uh, them? I did a song, not Rascal Flats, just that particular song. I work with them often though in uh, Nashville. When I go to Nashville, I work with some of the guys. I do like a lot of country music out there. So what Mr. do you think it is about you that also makes your style attractive to country music artists? I think it starts with just the song. Yeah. I think it's just music, and then whatever twist you put on it makes it what it is. You know. So I'm from the Midwest. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. You're KC. KC. So I grew up there. Country music. Jazz, pop, yeah. rock. So it's just one thing to me. I never knew that you have to be genre specific. I didn't know that. So. Now, are there any people that you're just like, if I said to you tomorrow, I'm going to get you in the studio with like XYZ, who are those three people? Quincy Jones. Oh, yeah, he's so great. <laughs> um, let me see, who else? That would be Steve Wonder, of course. Okay. And uh, Coldplay. Coldplay, that would be very cool. I would love to work with Coldplay. That'd be awesome. Now, with your style, when you go in, do you, I mean, as a producer, are you getting to say, like, hey, this line, this, you're your songwriter yeah. as well. I mean, I'm take me through, through like, take all the elements of what you're doing in the usually, studio. there's a co-writer in the room, or if I'm co-writing, I get in the room, get on the piano, usually start making music and talk to the artist. It's kind of like a therapy session, getting to know them, what they're going through. And I say, hey, this, they'd be good for a song. Or they might have an idea. It, it varies on the artist, yeah. but usually I have good input. I, I be, I, I'm able to hear and say, this should be that or that should be this, you know? Do you have any really cool stories? It could be from anyone in the studio that's just a really special, magical moment that sticks out very, to you. A very quick, special, magical moment. I met Rihanna a long time ago, and I was so like, I want to work with her so bad. I went to her, and I said, hey, I have this new sound for you. I, said, I, I think you might like it. And I gave her my number and my email. She never called me, but the next, that morning, she emailed me and said, give me the song. I woke up at 7 o'clock in the morning and produced Disturbia. I gave her Disturbia the next day. Do you know how crazy that is? <laughs> that's crazy. Can you, like, do you sing as that's well? My, that's my first, no. I mean, that I, song I is so catchy, though. Yeah, I, 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 know, I knew it was something she needed, and I got it. Now I was getting inspired when the artist is involved. I say, yo, I was like, I have something for you. And she's like, all right, let me hear it. And I'm like, so I went home and just put it together, you know? Is it tough when people are saying they're like in the studio and they're like, oh, I really like this, I want to try this, and you're like, knowing it doesn't sound good, and you're but like, you listen. To express yourself. So it's like, it's kind of like, it's like, it's creative. That you don't want to discourage anyone. You want people to feel inspired. So I say, okay, all right, let's try it. It's like fashion. You might just be like, uh, and then they say, uh, it don't look good. I'm like, yeah, let's try this. And they say, this look really good. So sometimes you got to entertain that. So you let them discover it on their own. Yeah, that's the best way. I think the best producers give artists their space to be themselves yeah. and just keep boundaries. I'm not trying to control the artists. I want to I wanna en embrace and kind of enhance the artists. So. so I would love to hear from you. What do you have coming out that we can look forward to? Right now, well, I just now recently did Close to You on Rihanna's pre present album. And I have Fantasia's uh, single out right now called No Time, no Time For It. And I'm currently working on stuff for Luke Bryant. So we don't know. We'll see, right? Luke? Yeah, Luke Bryant, yeah. I've been working on some country stuff. Isn't he married? Yes. Yeah, he's, he's married. He's, he's married, married once. He's, he's so handsome. Man, he's, <laughs> yeah. Dallas Davidson, um, he's a country writer and an artist. I'm working with him a lot right now. That is so cool. Like, can I just rub all your magic off you, all that country music star stuff? <laughs> yeah. Right. I love country music. I'm from Florida, and people say it's not the South, but I'm telling it, you. It is the South. Yeah, for sure. You grow up kind of hearing that, so I love that you have that mix of both, that you can go with Rihanna, and then you can also go with Luke Bryant. Yeah, that's the best way to live, in my personal opinion. Okay, and I, do you get hit up all the time for people to be like, hey, I have, I'm an artist, I want to work with you? You Sometimes, must. But I, now it's limited because my sister helps me, but I'm always open. I'm always open to listening. Usually I say send me a, a SoundCloud link because it can get a little crazy if somebody sends you a demo and then you get sued. Has it ever worked? Uh, yes, it has worked a few times with people I work with. Did you ever, while you were, so I was just talking um, to somebody and they were telling me 
They were driving Uber when they were working with Bieber, and the first time they heard the song that they did, Where You Are with Bieber, they were driving their Uber. Oh, did you wow, still man. have like a day job up until a certain point, or did you, you ditch that a long time ago? Well, I've always been a musician, so I was a work, I was a work for hire musician. So I ne definitely never had a job, but I, my job was playing piano. But I remember hearing Disturbia Fever when I was just kind of cruising around in my Honda. Disturbia. Element. I was like, oh, okay. Maybe I get a new car one day, you know. But You're it was so exciting, cool. You know, thank you. Okay, well, I love meeting you, and I hope that, like, I just can't, I mean, four Grammys in, I mean, that's kind of awesome. I appreciate that. Nice to meet you. You're such a nice person. Right. Thank have you. Have a nice